Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to the 5-Minute Facebook Ministry. My name is Anthony Daniels, and today we're coming out of the book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 16. That's Romans 1 and 16. And the NIV reads, For I am not ashamed of the gospel, because it, because it is the power of God that brings salvation to everyone who believes, first to the Jew, then to the Gentile. Again, for I am not ashamed of the gospel, because it is the power of God that brings salvation to everyone who believes, first to the Jew, then to the Gentile. Now, he, these, this is the writing of Paul. Of Paul, uh, Paul wrote Romans, and um, here he claims that he's not ashamed of the gospel. He's not ashamed of God's gospel, and we should not be ashamed of it either. Uh, God's gospel. It's here for us. He's given it to us as a, as a means for us to live right and as a means for us to, to come to him and accept the gift that he gives us. Because it says in the, in, the, in, the next, uh, in the next section, because it is the power of God that brings salvation to everyone who believes. Now, well, listen, it is the power of God that brings salvation to everyone who believes. So, we cannot get salvation without the power of God. It takes God to give us salvation. Your works, what you do, will not get you salvation. And it clearly states what you have to do to get salvation. That brings salvation to everyone who believes. So if we just believe in God, it brings us salvation. If we believe in him and trust in him. Now, believing in God, and trusting in God is key to getting salvation. Now, we got, you know, the Bible says even, even demons believe in, in God. Satan believes in God. Okay, but believing that God exists and believing in God and trusting God and living for God is what, we, is what we have to do as Christians. We believe in God. We believe him for who he is. We believe him for what he does in our lives. And, and we trust him and we put our faith in him. And he gives us salvation. And that comes strictly through his grace and mercy, his love for us. Okay? We can't, we can't earn it. We, we don't deserve it. We don't deserve it. I mean, we're all sinners. We're all sinners. We've all fallen short of the glory of God. We don't deserve this. God just gives it to us. And it says, first to the Jew, then to the Gentile. Now, that's important. Because when Jesus came... But before Jesus came, when you look at the Old Testament, God, God selected the Jewish race through Abraham to, 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 to bring his existence uh, into a written form for man to pass along and share with each other. And, and it, when he gave it to the Jews, it wasn't just for the Jews, but he started with the Jews. Through the Jews, he was going to grow a nation there was going to be a mighty nation under God. It was going to spread his gospel to all nations. That was the intent of, 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 of the nation of Israel, to spread his word throughout the kingdom. But they, but, they, but they failed to follow God the way that God wanted them to fail. And, and, and if you read, as you read the Old, Old Testament, you see how, especially in Judges, how it says, you know, uh, they failed over and over again. And he kept sending judges to rescue them and bring them back. And he just kept slipping back into sin. And uh, even when Moses brought him through the desert and all the miracles they saw of God, they still turned away from God. So then God had to bring Jesus Christ to bring the word and give it to everybody in a way that everybody could come into God and we can get it directly from God instead of depending on the nation of Israel to give it to us. So it says, and then the Gentile, and then to the Gentile. And as Gentiles, we are receiving God's word now. And, and, and we cannot be ashamed, just like Paul was ashamed of the gospel of what God's gospel means for us. And it tells us to go out and preach the gospel to all nations, you know, teaching them, teaching them, okay, everything that God wants them to do and how God wants us to live. That's our role in life. And as, as we grow as Christians and we understand what God wants for us, okay, that, that, uh, that relationship with him, we've already received salvation. He brings us 
He brings us into righteousness. He takes things away from us. He burns things off of us that he doesn't want to be a part of us, to make us to be the person, the individual, the, man, the, son, of, the son of God, the daughter of God that he wants us to be. Okay? He wants us to be that. And we've been accepted into his, in, into his sonship and daughtership through his grace. Through his grace. So, we are not ashamed of the gospel. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. I'm not ashamed of, of, I'm not ashamed of being a Christian. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. I'm not ashamed of people knowing I'm a Christian. I'm not ashamed of people knowing that, that I do things for God, that I live for God. That, that You need to know it. You need to know it because when you see good things happening in my life, you know, well, man, something's going on in that guy's life. I need to find out what's going on with him. Hey, what's the source behind, behind your success? My source is God. My source is God. What's the source of you getting through all these troubles? You, you just fall on your face all the time. And you still standing up smiling and getting up and, getting, and you seem to get through all this stuff. How do you do it? My source is God. I'm not ashamed of God, so I'm not ashamed of God. And we cannot be ashamed of God because through his power, through his power, okay, we get salvation. We get salvation through God's power, not through any, not through any effort on our own. No effort, nothing that we can do except believe in our hearts and trust God and have faith in him. That's what causes God to use his power to give us salvation. Okay, Us making a conscious decision to love God, to follow God, to be with God. Okay, so if you haven't made that decision, I implore you today, you know, to, to find someone, you know, and, and if, if you can't find someone, just get on your knees and pray and ask God to come into your life, confess your sins to him, and you don't have to, you don't have to run out a whole litany. Just confess that you're a sinner. Just confess that you sin, that you fall short of the glory of God, and you, that you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, and you want God to come into your life and, and start working with you, you start, and then you start reading his word, and you start studying his word, and ask him to give you revelation of his word. The first time you read his word, it may, kind of, may, may, may sound kind of confusing, it may, you may not get things, just keep reading it. Just keep reading one of you can be like, wow, I'm understanding this thing now. Oh, that's what you meant. Oh, okay, man, I didn't, I didn't know that. And, and that will continually happen to you as you read God's word, as you start to understand God's word, and you, you've read something 10, 10, 15 times, and you think you, got, you know exactly what it means, and then all of a sudden God reveals some more to you. It doesn't take away what he's already revealed to you. It just adds to your knowledge. It gives you that wisdom. The wisdom that can only come from God. Oh, Lord, I'm over, I'm, over, I'm over a couple of minutes. So I got to run. Don't be ashamed of the gospel. I'm not. God, love, God bless you.